Janine, I can see you've got a whiteboard there full of dates, names and information. Uh, it's quite overwhelming, but can you give the viewers and listeners, listeners an overview of precisely what we, what we are looking at, at there? It would appear to be a bit of a roadmap of what uh, is on the horizon in the near future. Mm, yes, Robert. Um, it is a bit of a roadmap and I've tried to put some significant dates in here and dates to highlight to look to look at um, of things that might happen from here. Um, so yes, it does look a bit overwhelming at first, but try not to be overwhelmed. I'm using this as a talking point. I'm using it as an orientation map um, to help me stay focused as I share, because this is uh, voluminous research, you know, 35 years worth of research, and I've researched the researchers. And so it's, um, I could go down many rabbit trails and I don't want to do that. I want to try and stay focused um, to get the key message across. So I'm going to start by sharing that the reason why we're looking as I mentioned in the introduction while we're looking at these time frames between events is that Jesus himself in Matthew 24 said to his disciples when they said what will be the sign of your coming in the end of the age Jesus said um, when you see the sign of the abomination of desolation standing in the holy place then flee to the mountains now this prophecy partially fulfilled in 66 AD as I've shared before that history is repeating and there were certain time periods between the significant events and we've found as I've shared before that those time periods have fulfilled exactly 35 years between the crucifixion event and the abomination sign and then another three and a half years between that to the attack and then 1290 days that's what we're going to look at this time and Jesus said those time periods are in the book of Daniel they're actually in Daniel chapter 12 and these are the events that immediately precede Jesus second coming and that is the reason why we've been watching them so closely so hopefully that's a bit of an orientation you know where to go go to Matthew 24 and to Daniel chapter 12 now what's really interesting is that these time periods have actually fulfilled before people have looked at these time periods and they've thought oh they seem to apply to the dark ages and they have actually applied to the dark ages and so from that we can learn quite a lot about what happens on these events so what we're going to look at today is the fact that 1290 days have fulfilled I'm just going to highlight and focus in on this 1290 days have actually fulfilled from the attack um, which is three and a half years after the abomination sign. The attack was the ecological conversion called by the Pope that manifested in COVID-19.